ever told y'all that repentance was a cuss word? I mean, repentance is nothing more than just being honest with the Father. Oh, man. He already know your condition in the first place, just being honest. Let, matter of fact, let me go here for a second before yes. we go on. Oh, right? let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Listen, listen. Let's go. Let's go. I understand. First of all, you need to forget about the pride that you're trying to reserve for man. People who you see around you. Come on. Come on. Oh, you need to just yeah. throw that Close crap up. away. Yes, I mean. Because you don't want to miss the kingdom out. And that's why I keep talking about the fear of men bring up the snare. Yeah. Something you can't even repent oh, right. Man. Because you care more about that's your opinions of other than the way you look yes. Come on. Yes. around others that's carrying man. the same old veil of flesh that you are. Come on. Come on. As opposed to the way the king sees you. Yes. Yes. That's why you can't do proper repentance. The book says there's not a just man mm. on this earth that do good and sin of not. You hear that? Not a one. So if you realize that we all in the cesspool of hell. Yes, sir. Why are you trying to preserve what you call your dignity? Your dignity stinks. Yes, I mean. Come on, sir. Come your on. pride stinks. Come on. Yes. yes. Your Just arrogance pride. stinks. Nobody give a damn about it either. Come on, sir. Come on. It's better for you to be able to actually open up your mouth wide. And admit to the Father what you really truly yes. are. Yeah. So he can help you. Yeah. Uh, Come on. That's it. But some of you, you'll never be able to utter those words of how bad and wicked you are because you're so blinded to yourself. Oh. You are literally here on this earth. Come on. With a bunch of damn flesh. Yes. That there's no temptation except that which is it's common to man. Yeah. That means everybody done dealt with the same old crap. Same right. old thing. Yeah. And yet Come you on. trying to preserve yourself? You can tell those who've been honest and done really truly repented and fallen on the soul. Come you on. can really truly tell. Come on. Because that's just a difference about there's a certain humility about this. Come on. Come on. Let me let me give you, I'm gonna go to the extreme. A person that is really truly repented will never slander or condemn you openly. Mm. Because they know how grave it is. Oh, man. When I tell you that a lot of people have never seen themselves before, you ain't never seen yourself before. Now you ain't. I remember the words of Paul. Paul said, I asked a man, I had some people tell me, Damn, Pastor, the truth is, you're literally, truly trying to get us to repent. I said, you damn, got, you got that right. Thank you. Paul said, I'm glad I made you sorry. sorry. Come on. After a godly sorrow. Because godly sorrow worketh repentance. Not ever. Come to on. ever be repentant of again. Yeah. When you really truly don't met the conditions yeah. of real true repentance, you don't want to go revisit that no. shit. No! Nope. Misery! Never. No! Because you have to understand, what you've done, what we all done, is a sin against the Most High Y'all. Yeah! Forget about vain ass Ooh, men down here. He told you, don't do it. Yeah. Come on. Male, female, he told you, don't do it. Everybody else don't matter. No. Nothing else matters. No. Come on. And yet you despise the day of repentance because you're trying to preserve your dignity. Your damn dignity. You try to preserve yourself from a good death. No wonder the scriptures talk so much about humility. Yeah. No wonder they talk so much about humility. The scripture is so deep in humility. Yes. Your pride stinks like a pile of shit yes, to the most high y'all. It yes, does. Y'all always gives favor to the humble. Yes, sir. 
Ah, always give favoritism. Always. 